Hello friends and families, once again welcome to Armstrong C Computers. Now today's segment we are going to look at how to add products to our point of sales. And if you are new here, this is what we did by creating um, a user permission or assign permission to a user where we created a username Amalulu and then this is the uh, portal of Amalulu that we created. Now currently there is no item in the system. So now Ama cannot add Ama cannot add a new item you see Ama cannot add a new item so uh, we need to just you the admin need to log in into the admin portal or whoever you the admin have given that permission to to add a new item so without wasting my time let's begin by adding a new item <music> Okay, welcome back. As I just said, let's begin by adding a new item. My, what I need to do is I need to log out from um, Amaz Portal. So after logging out, before then, as I just said, I'll be leaving a link. Our uh, previous lesson, so far as assigning permission is concerned, I'll be leaving the link in the description or its whole playlist, so that at least you guys can just take a recap of how you can just put all this together. All what we did here you can also do the same thing and set it for your shop and set it for your clients also as well it's a free open source and you must know how it has been used that just by the way let's move on so my to just go ahead and log in and then my to just go um, log in as an admin okay so i just log in now so now when time you log in what you need to do is that remember that you are adding an item now to add an item you have to just come to where we have the item click on item when you click on the item wait for a while and you see this is the item interface so now when you watch here on the top here you can see that what we have new item now you can also import the item in CVV, okay, or the CSV you, if to, that is using the Excel where you can just click and then so far as you have it, just click here and then we click on the browse, then you select if an Excel file, you select it and you just import it, basically that is just that. But here, I want us to just enter the item directly in the system without not importing it into the system. But you can also use the Excel sheet and then you can import uh, all the item into the system. So basically that it is, let's move on. So as I just said, so for you to just add your item, just click on a new item. A dialog box will display on the screen. If you are using a barcode scanner, you just type, click here. And then, but before then, make sure you enter the details of all the item. The barcode scanner should be the last thing that you, you scan. The moment you scan it, you scan the barcode, uh, the item is going to just add up by, automatically by itself but don't be alarmed you can just go back and edit it and do that even if indeed you scan it first and it goes that is just by the way let's move on so the next thing we'll be looking at let's add items i'm going to add a product here so i product so that's item names i'm going to type something here so let me type something like um uh let's say bell so i want to put all my item in a uh, uppercase so and uh, it's two liter so two liter of it actually i don't drink alcohol but you know most of my clients <laughs> that is just bad way. so the category is alcohol okay there's alcoholic drink okay so it's alcohol and yes i have it in stock Okay, and let's come here. So the wholesale price. So we have wholesale price. The wholesale price talks about how you bought it. Okay, we can call it the cost price. So let's say I bought this product. Let's say um, one uh, twenty worth of Ghana CDs, and I'm selling it of let's say one fifty. Okay, so basically then the quantity. Okay, the quantity I have is I have ten. So as I have 10 minus you just click on new so that it will be added. So you can see it is added here. So as it is added, you can see that it is added here. So I'll go ahead and type another new product. So I'm typing a new product again. And 
this product let's say it is thin okay and the category i want to make it food okay the category is food nicely and yes i have it in stock standard so stock standard and then you come here now the price of this item let's assume is uh, 50 gas it is and that's the that is a wholesale price okay the wholesale price is 50 gas it is and the uh, retail price that is the selling price and how i'm going to sell it in my shop i'm going to sell let's assume because i want money 70 gas it is basically just that and the quantity let's say is uh, 20 so might as well just go ahead you can even scroll down and add an image of the um, item also as well but hey just a rough sketch so let's click on new so that one will also be added so okay but if it is only one item you can just click on submit but if you're adding more when you add one you click on new so i'll screw up and then go ahead and come to this very side and let me type another product called uh, bell active so or bell aqua i love the aqua so bell aqua and this bell aqua let's say is one point uh, one point five kind of liter okay one point five liter and the category is also food stock standard and i'm selling it i bought it 2.5 and i'm selling it um 3.5 okay and the quantity i have let's say i have 50 in stock so after that i'll just click on submit now these are my products now let's assume that after you've entered the product you realize that the product you have entered uh the cost price of this very product the cost price is 160 okay so when you double click it will not work okay you can't change it directly but you can just come to this model we call the first model here called update item and we call this we call it inventory count details as in to give you the history of how the inventory how the sales was made then we come to this side this side is called updates inventory let's assume you are receiving a new stock don't worry i'll show you how that has been done so now as far as the price is concerned you realize that the, the selling product the retail price of this particular product is 180 but not 150 ghana cities so just come to this side just update it and then screw down here come to the retail price and just change it to um the 180 or 170 how you want to sell it then after that click on submit and it is there now another thing that i like to talk about is let's assume that you realize that on the shelf the quantity in which or after selling you sold some of the things after selling you realize that the quantity on the shelf is five but the system is telling you it's ten what you could do you can just bring the mouse pointer here where we have updates inventory click on updates inventory and you can see we have inventory to add or to subtract now remember as i said on the shelf is what is five but you realize that it's supposed to be kind of like it's supposed to be uh five but you entered it in the system 10 don't be alarmed come to where we have uh inventory to add or to subtract click here and just go minus five so minus what five so after i type minus five click on submit and it will automatically reduce it to five so basically that is just that so when it comes to the middle one we have the inventory count details it will just tell me that yes prince um, i'm sorry i'm strong at me reduce the quantity to five and the date in which i did that will show the date I entered the quantity to 10 and the time will show and basically that is just that now so after i've done this let's assume that i'm i wanted to make sales so as i've done that let's see uh let's log out from my portal 
and log into Amma's uh, portal for Amma to make sales. Okay, so let's do that. So after logging out, so let me enter. So that's going to be Amma. One, two, three. Okay. My bad. So Amma. So one, two, three. And I'll go straight to the password one two three four five six seven eight, and that's what we did. So I'll log in. So I just come to sales. So here, so I'm I want to sell. So I'm I want to sell. Let's say Bella for active. The moment you took B L A um, B B E L, and you see all the Bella will select. So I'm I can select this, and the quantity that Amma wanted to sell, Amma can do that. So let's say Amma is selling, someone wanted to buy, someone wanted to buy, let's say, uh, five of them, Amma can type five. Or, now let's say it's one, let me show you, Amma can type five directly, and then it will just calculate the total. So let's assume that now, after Amma type this, the total amount is 17 cities, 50 pesos. And a customer gave amount ama 20 Ghana cities. Ama can just come here and type 20 Ghana cities and just click on add. You see, our payment type is cash. Ama can click and select cash. And we have to add to payment or click. And after clicking to tell me then the change I supposed to give to the customer. You see, we have amount due here, okay, which is what um uh, two CD 50 pesos where I'll be giving it to the customer. Then after that, I click on complete sales. Then again, I'll go back to sales return. So this is how the receipt is nicely, where I can just print for the customer. So let me go back to um, sales uh, register. Now that I'm at the sales register again, I wanted to sell another item. So let's assume, let's assume again, I wanted to sell another item. So let me sell at least three items. Okay, at a go. So let me select you and let me select and you again. Then let me select Bell Actif. Okay, so this is the total amount of all the item is as you can see here is three five uh two five three fifty pesos. And let's assume that the customer gave the sales girl 300. So the went I go and I type 300 and I just click on um, add payment automatically to tell me I need to the amount do you have to be what uh, 46 can answer this 50 pesos minus so you just click on complete sales and then go back to sales re re register. So basically that is just that and that is basically now I'm a kind of view the kind of like the sales, the reports of today's sales. But let's look at something here. So when I log out, as me being the admin, let me log into me being the admin, my portal. So after logging into me being the admin, I wanted to view today's sales of AMA. So what I need to do, I just come to reports. So after clicking report, what I'll do again is that I'll just go ahead and then come to where we have transactions. So we have transactions. Click on the transaction. Then I'll select the employees or complete transaction. But let me do the transaction by employees. So let's go back to reports and come to employees. Okay. Then I'll select the employees that I wanted to view each report at this AMA. I can select the data just today. And I'll select complete sales and I'll click on submit and automatically to give me the sales okay the total sales you see here when you watch here it's giving the sub total sales and that is it, the, the wholesale price of the whole item that I bought to do the substitution and to give me my profit so that's how the system works and this is how one can just add an item in your system so basically that is just that that is all for today Catch you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.